welcome to uh, uh, Arsenal of Democracy scenario. Or, um, well, yeah, I, yeah it's a really scenario. Whatever. This is, um, this is a, kind of a scenario if, like, this is, like, it was saying, like, um, if, like, if the pack at Munich, um, you know, went so south, then um, Hitler didn't get the Sudetenland and Czechoslovakia went to war with Germany. And I'm playing as Germany. I, you know what's funny? I, I only got a marginal victory out of this. But I had Prague literally surrounded and my troops were ready for the final assault, but I ran out of time. But I base, I, it was basically total vic victory. I don't even know why they say, oh, you only got a marginal victory. It has to do with, like, the territory points and stuff like that. Because, um, I had, like, um, Prague basically surrounded and the rest of the country to the, to the east was still under check control, but I was starting to push through there and got two, like, I won pr two of the provinces, but when pr I had Prox around it, the game's like, oh, you ran out of time, I'm sorry, you get a marginal victory, but I said, screw you. But, it was a pretty good. I think out of all the battles, the land battles, I lose one land battle, and that's trying to go after one province. But rather than that, I, I didn't lose a land battle. I lost a couple air battles because they had better fighters, though. But, I mean, my bombers... I didn't lose any, but like, when it came to, like, morale, like, with them retreating, I lost kind of a... When it came to fighter battles, I would usually lose or at least just fly away if, like, for... Like, it was like an encounter or skirmish, but it wasn't, you know, I, nothing... I never lost anything. So I would I would have to say if I had bombers or close air support, I, I think I would have lost. Because um, it, well when you play this game, even Hearts of Iron and stuff like that, unless you have really good fighters or you're versing a a nation, a crappy nation. Well, I wouldn't say crappy nation, but a nation overall. You know, it's kind of hard to see if it's actually really doing anything. It's kind of hard to tell. So I mean it. It does help, but at first, if, you, if you're using really like um, uh, like early close air support and bombers, tactical bombers, strategic bombers, um, it's it's like uh, I'm trying to think of the word. It's not really noticeable, but it does help because it you can depending on what you tell them to do, like ground attack, uh, attack or insurrection or in. Something like that, like ground attack, attacks their strength, and the other one I said, um, attacks like their organization, like communication lines, so they won't be as much organized. So we'll know. Cause um, cause I think if you're not really in any battle and you don't have any strategic bombers, I would just go ground attack. If most of these, when I have to do attack a certain province and give them air support, I just tell them to. Ground attack, cause it, uh, insurrection, or whatever, communication, or whatever. The second bomb. I'll just say, I'll just reference that. The second ground attack. Um, the doing with the second ground attack. Um, it takes a bit if it's not really a superior, like a really good bomb. Um, and um, uh, yeah, so, like, the whole bomb, but um. Yeah, right here, I'm really pushing into that unit, that area. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get my straight. Now, the next I'm going to be attacking is Braun or Brun. Yeah, Brun. I should be, yeah, whatever, but I do that to close up that area so the rest of the country is like cut off. I don't know if it really does a supply deficit for the enemy to attack because they're cut off, but um, I do that kind of a pincer move. So, trap the country. When I first cut the country, awesome, I selected that by accident. Just to see. But um, like I was saying, when I first cut the country off, they were able to get one part of the country back when they got that one province back. Oh, it was the ninth I sent it to. Yeah. But um, they first cut me off. They didn't cut my unit off. I, I used to cut the, the, the nation off, but I had to go back and attack it. 
and they didn't they weren't able to do it again and what i've noticed is that they must have the options valhalla or death that means they'll just keep fighting until like they're basically gone or just can't fight no more and they, that does become a problem because they i mean like they won't stop fighting even when they're all their organization's gone so yeah like great right hero for the brawn Bronno attack uh, I send my bombers to attack. Give them a uh, advantage, which does. Yeah, like I haven't seen the Czechs don't really have um really a bomber force, but they have good fighters though. So. Yeah, there's some fighting there. Braun. This is the only one I can find in the tank division. Well, we take division, but I had superior. Well, we we're both on level three, but I had better organization. I had one mobile, like uh, mobile division infantry. Oh no, not mobile. It's called motorized infantry division. And um, and I had some better um from their brigades on some of the infantry. They just had artillery. Which I mean is not bad, but depending on what artillery you got. Um So yeah, this is the battle. This is the only land battle I lose because um, they had really good defenses or something there. I mean the eight the units that are only 18 1918 units, they I mean I wouldn't surpri be surprised if they were if they lost, but I mean they, they held because of with the manpower. Yep, victory for me, no surprise. Well, except for that battle I just said, but whatever. Um, yeah, they're gonna duke it out for a bit. And they must have really good defenses. I send, like, most of my... I think I send one squ squadron. But it never did anything. It really didn't. It helped, but it didn't do enough. To say that. See, and I even had most advantages. So, I don't know why, how I lost. Unless... Uh, 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 what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, I had most advantages, so um, I'm surprised I lost that. I, I can admit they um were getting a lot of men in there, but whatever. Um, I've been playing a lot of Euro, 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 uh, Europa or European Universal, Europa Universal 3. I haven't got Heir to the Throne yet, which I heard is pretty good. You can do a lot more stuff when it's easier to declare war. Because you can actually have good reasons, like, uh, instead of, like, claim to the throne, you can just, like, reconquest. I, I'm just saying I've seen from previews and, like, uh, like, reconquest, uh, crusade, I think was one. And stuff like that, and I've been saving up my money for it, so. Yeah, um, on the Sudetenland part, there was a lot of hills or mountains, and I... I'm surprised Germany didn't have a lot of um, uh, mountain divisions. They mostly were near Vienna, Vienna, or whatever. See, it looks like here in Lemberg, I'm gonna win, but they're gonna win. I'm gonna. I think I had to retreat. Well, not just retreat from the battle. Then don't worry, they'll go. They'll get reinforcements. I. Oh. Oh, I could have just lost. I'm not totally sure. They could have been on Valhalla. So I decided... See, that's what I was talking about. They, that's how they first cut me off. Well, they broke through the cutout. They didn't cut my division that did that. But that's why I moved them up. To try to get it. But they were able to get that province back. But then I was able to take it back pretty quick. So it was pretty much useless. So I, that's basically how I cut the country in half. And I was moving that division up to help them for the next attack. Yeah, after I started to get my other guys to start moving in, they, the Czechs really did um, get a massive counterattack. But but sadly, I was able to stop them because when like one division would be well, battalion or whatever you call it, uh, divisions would move like attack another province the other like on another province the checks would attack so I'd have to select other units to help attack them so uh, you could say it was a really immediate counterattack 
and this is one that's going to start to happen. And I'll probably, I'll probably, you probably see what I'm talking about. You see the arrows on the little counters. Um, that's telling you where it's going if they're going. If it's red, it means they're attacking or support attacking. Like here, I decided to give these guys more supplies, except for that guy. See, that's a. I mean, I would. I think historically, if the Munich pack did go south, or yeah, Munich. Yeah, I could have sworn it was no. Yeah, I could have sworn it was Munich. Yeah, it was the Munich pact. Yeah, no. Well, whatever. If I'm, I, I'm a World War II buff, but if I get it wrong, well, yeah, I wasn't thinking. Whatever. I, yeah, it had to have been the Munich pact. Whatever. But um, I think they could have um. I think they could have stopped them, but I'm not totally sure though, because I mean, by this. Yeah, it was before, it was a year before the invasion of Poland. But, I mean, they had the best army in Central Europe. So. Well, not, I, okay, I don't know, consider, I don't know if people consider Germany Central Europe, but they had a good army. I'll say that. But I, I, I think they would have been able to hold them off at least. Yep, so, um, for, you know, I only have one interceptor to get the actual fighters, but, you know, after a while, the, the Czech fighters just didn't, um, bother me anymore. They did, but they weren't able to really do anything. So, yeah, see what I mean? Like, they're starting to do a counterattack, so I just move my other forces in to start attacking them, which really slows them down and which really helps. So then I... 